Our top story this half hour, dozens of activists are under arrest after their demonstration in Manhattan's Union Square got out of hand. So tomorrow is a big day for losers. Yeah, that's when some groups plan to stage a dememonstration in New York City. A group called Occupy Wall Street is calling for thousands of lefties to, quote, flood into lower Manhattan, set up tents, and occupy it. The problem is that many Americans simply don't understand what's at stake here. The Occupy Wall Street movement is basically socialistic. It essentially wants a government to control who gets what. I think right now we are in a major battle between uh, the people and concentrated wealth. We're not against people profiting, uh, but we're against excessive profit. In the first place, the folks on Wall Street, because of their greed and illegal behavior, you know what their punishment has been? They're not making more money than they ever made before. There's no question that capitalism isn't perfect or fair. Some people who get wealthy do so by exploiting workers. That's always happened. But the alternative is Cuba or Greece. Do Americans really want that? And it's easy to make fun of this Wall Street project, but you know the fact is that these same people down there, none of whom went to jail, none of whom paid a penalty, have left people homeless. The Occupy Wall Street protest entered its third week today. What started as less than a dozen college students camping out in the park near the New York Stock Exchange is now hundreds of protesters, and it's spread to other cities. But what are they protesting? So the banks were involved and the Federal Reserve was involved, but who got stuck? The middle class got you know, stuck. They can't just they reach in some pot of money and take it and do what they want. With the if they can do that, why well, can't I just go into Wells Fargo and say, hey, <laughs> I hear we got some group money here. I want my share. It's insanity.